Welcome to your piano lesson. If you are here for the first time, I am Gianluca Fronda. If you want to discover interesting facts about me, you can watch the introduction video of the channel. I'm leaving the link in the description below. If you like the content of my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I'm aiming to publish two weekly tutorials. Now let's dive into the lesson. Today I want to show you how to play the D minor arpeggio. The minor arpeggio is another one of those arpeggios using just white keys. After ending the explanation of the major arpeggios, I decided to start talking about the minor arpeggios, also because I wanted to start grouping the arpeggios according to the colors, and indeed I want to carry on showing you how to play a few more minor arpeggios, and then I will show you which one is the main group of arpeggios, or which one is the group of arpeggios using just white keys, you can easily understand. From that point, going on, obviously I will carry on showing the remaining arpeggios, the remaining minor arpeggios, but I keep repeating that my goal is the one of showing you how to intend the arpeggios according to the colors. And by simply considering the arpeggios according to the color of the keys, with a simple click you will be able, obviously understanding also which ones are the notes that you need, the notes of the scale that you need to play the arpeggios, you will be able to understand how to play all the arpeggios because it's very simple then at some point. In the beginning you think that you have to remember all the notes, that you have to understand so many things. Obviously you have to know all the scales, you have to know which ones are the notes needed to build up the arpeggios that are the first, the third and the fifth of, this, of the scale that you are considering or the key signature that you are considering. And then obviously after doing all these, there are steps that are definitely necessary, you can Start grouping in your mind your pages simply according to the color, as I say. Today, indeed, I'm going to show D minor. D minor will simply need D, F natural and A. The fingers needed for the right hand are, again, the same identical ones that are needed for all the arpeggios starting from a white key, 1, 2 and 3. 1, 2 and 3. The fingers needed for the left hand are 5, 4 instead of 3. I hope that you have watched all the previous videos, or some of the previous videos where I have explained how you can consider the fingering, the left hand fingering, and why I say that if you use the fourth, you don't use the third. And indeed, I was saying, for the D minor you will need five, four, instead of three, two, and one. And then you will cross over, but you will see. Now let's dive into the lesson. As usual, let's anyways check first of all the notes that we need and why are the ones that I mentioned, D, F and A, because you have to consider the D minor scale. And whichever it is, the minor, that you want to take in consideration, remember that you need to simply pay attention to the first five notes of the scale. That's why I'm not even going to play the, the first five notes of the scale applying the thumb passage and using the right finger, because we have to simply pay attention to these notes. Here we are, these are the five notes that we need. Then we take the first, the third and the fifth. And I confirm that I need we need first the thumb for the first note, the second finger for the second note, that is the F, the third of the scale, and then the third finger for the A, fifth of the scale, or third note of the arpeggio. For one octave we will need the little finger to end and to come back, to end the ascending direction and then to go down. Right end one octave. left hand, as I mentioned, we need 5 for the first note, then we use the fourth instead of the third. The principle that I like to adopt is this one, even though you have options, this is what I, I suggest my students. And let's see if you like the idea. I say when there is just one white key in between the first and the second note of the arpeggio, I suggest four. If I would have two white keys, for example in case of the D major, I use three, because I have two white keys in the distance distance obviously is wider and can be a little bit tricky the usage of the fourth that's why i say that when it's just one the white key use please the fourth left hand one octave now let's 
go to the right hand two octaves. Obviously, in this case, we need the thumb passage because we have to play then the, the arpeggio also in the following octave. D minor, two octaves will be. Let's play now D minor two octaves, also with the left hand, and also in this case we have to cross over the thumb to complete the second octave. We can play now D minor one octave, hands together. And now we can play also D minor two octaves, hands together. Now the most important part of the lesson is the one where I explain how to improve the thumb passage and then the crossing over the thumb that on the right we have to face when going down, the left when going up, because then the, the left has to face the thumb passage going down. Let's start talking about the thumb passage that you can apply then to the left and I show you with the right. As usual I say that you pose on the note just before the thumb passage and in this case you pose here on the A played by the third, getting ready. Uh, with the thumb on the D, in this way. And the thumb is ready on the D. Ready to act. Exercise number two would be the one of posing on the D, but getting ready to play the following one, not playing it. See, getting ready here, but with the thumb stable and ready on the D. The exercise number three will be the one where you pose on the F, so the note straight after the thumb passage. In this way you empower the thumb passage. You can go it slower, ta -ta -ti -ta -ta, but it's important this move becomes very smooth. Talking about now the crossing over the thumb, the first exercise is the one where you pose on the thumb and you get ready to cross over. In this way, getting ready to play the F but not playing it with the fourth. Exercise number two will be the one where you pose on the note straight after the thumb, in this case the F played by the fourth. Getting ready to play the following one. Exercise number three, you play this one and you stay. And as usual, as I always say, to make even stronger the crossing over the thumb, to empower the crossing over the thumb. In this way. This is all I can suggest you to improve and to learn how to play the D minor, same as obviously all the other ones. I really hope you've enjoyed the lesson, that you've understood everything, that you are applying my advices, my suggestions, that you are using all the technical exercises that I suggest, that at the end are just three for each of the cases, so the thumb passage and the crossing over the thumb. Let me know how things are going. If it's the first time you're landing on my channel thanks to this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one. All the best.